This 200 Newton uniform beam is supported by two cables, one at each end. A box of mass M hangs from the beam, two meters from the left end and one meter from the right end. The tension T2 in the right side cable is 600 Newtons. What is the tension T1 in the left side cable? 100 Newtons, 200 Newtons, 300 Newtons, 350, or 400 Newtons. What is the mass of the box? 50 kilograms, 60, 75, 70, or 80 kilograms. The system is in equilibrium, so it satisfies the two conditions for equilibrium. The net torque has to be zero and the, the net force has to be zero. Net torque being zero means the clockwise torque equals to the counterclockwise torque. And then of course we need to draw the force diagram and we need to select an axle so we can write the torque equation. Let's see, for the beam, there are two mg's. 1 mg is the beam, which acts at the center of the beam because it is a uniform beam. So this is the 200 newtons, the weight of the beam. And uh, there is the weight mg. And then they are touching two things, the two cables. So we have a T2, that's 600 newtons, and a T1 we're looking for. There are two unknown forces, T1 and Mg. So either locations can be convenient is our pretend fulcrum. I'm just going to use the T1 over here. So this is my fulcrum. That means uh, these two forces will give me the clockwise torque. That one will give me the counterclockwise torque. T1 will not give us any torque. So the clockwise torque is produced by the 200 newtons times the lever arm the lever arm would be, let's see, the uniform beam is 3 meters long, 2 plus 1. The center of mass is right at the center, so it is 1.5 meters from the axle. So the lever arm is 1.5, and uh, there is the torque produced by m times g. I'm just going to use 10 for g. What is the lever arm for mg? It is uh, 2 meters. The counterclockwise torque is produced by 600 newtons. 600 times the lever arm will be 3 meters. So I have 300 plus 20 m equals to 1800. I just have to subtract 300 on both sides and then divide by 20 on both sides. And then I'll find the mass to be 75 kilograms. And then I can write the net force equals to zero. The upward forces should equal to the downward forces. T1 plus the T2, 600 newtons, should equal to the downward forces. 200 newtons plus the mg, we just found m to be 75 kilograms, so mg is 750. And that means T1 would equal to 350 newtons. So the answers will be D and uh, C for 75. Now if you wish to, you can also deal with this problem using proportion. There are two pieces of weights that cables have to support. The uniform beam 200 newtons and the mg of the box. So we can look at one object at a time. For the uniform beam, it's symmetric. so each side supports uh, 100 newtons. That means uh, the 600 newtons on the right side must be 100 plus 500, which means uh, the weight mg has 500 newtons being supported by this side of the beam. And because the distance is 2 to 1, the support force must be 1 to 2. If the support force is uh, 1 to 2 and this side supports uh, 500 newtons, that means uh, the other side must support 250 newtons. That means the tension here is 350 newtons. And uh, this is the uh, part of the weight of the box. 
This is another part of the weight of the box. So the total weight of the box must be 750 newtons. So it's 75 kilograms.